So just how safe is your money? Well, here is your warning. Your money is not safe. Banks are not the safest place to keep your money. This is why some experts believe that now is the best time to get your money out of the banks before this emergency happens. Well, what is this emergency? I'm gonna address that in today's video. All I ask is if you enjoy these daily updates, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button and let's begin. One of the biggest emergencies that we are facing right now here in the United States is that you, the United States is putting itself in these different wars, the war with Russia and Ukraine, the war with Israel and Gaza. But something else happened the other day, and here it is. Bank of America, unrealized losses on securities rose to $131.6 billion. That's the start of the emergency. The reason why I bring this up is because we are not hearing about banks potentially struggling. We're not hearing about banks potentially closing down. We're not hearing about all these different losses unless you are looking at the right news reports. If you are just watching the news, you're listening to mainstream media, they're covering the same stories. What we're hearing right now is we're hearing things about the war between Israel and Gaza. We're hearing about the, the failed attempts for Republicans to vote in a new Speaker of the House. And sometimes we hear about the strikes that are impacting different industries, right? That's what we're hearing. Those are the stories that we are getting at this time. But the one thing that will change your life faster than a strike by the United Auto Workers is a bank failing. And guess what? Multiple banks are on the verge of failure. It's not just going to be the small banks this time. It will be the larger banks as well because they too are exposed. This is why many financial experts are advising their clients to diversify their money. Don't leave your money in just one bank. Spread it around. But why? What is happening? Why should we be worried? Because don't most banks have FDIC insurance? Right? Aren't you protected? Isn't your money safe? Well, let's dive into that. Because again, that's what we're being told. Why would financial experts be worried about the entire banking system right now? Why? What has changed over the past handful of months? Well, it's a war. The war is what is potentially changing this. And it's actually quite simple. Let's just look at the numbers. Currently, there's around $17.3 trillion in deposits in all commercial banks, okay? $17.3 trillion. This is as of earlier this week. Well, back in April of 2022, we saw deposits peak at $18.1 trillion. They have come down, okay? About $800 billion since then. This is why people are somewhat struggling. We do not have the savings that we had before and things are costing more money. But the problem is not just with the deposits. The problem is actually with the FDIC. The FDIC is supposedly there to ensure our deposits. Well, guess what? According to the recent reports in the DIF, this is the Deposit Insurance Fund, the Deposit Insurance Fund only has around $116 billion. So the Deposit Insurance Fund has $116 billion, but the amount of total deposits in all commercial banks is sitting at $18.1 trillion. Okay, or it was. Now it's sitting at $17.3. That's a huge gap. That means that less than 1% of our deposits are even really insured. That's all the money that's there. And you're probably thinking, well, it's not a big deal, right? Because if, if we need more money, we'll just ask the US government for additional money to you know, ensure that people that deposit money into their bank, they get it. Well, that's not as easy as you may think, okay? Because, and again, how likely is this to happen? It's 
according to many reports, this is not going to be a likely outcome. It's a warning. That's all experts are telling us. This is a warning. The reason why this is a warning is because if a war happens between and the United States gets in the middle of it, we are going to see more and more. Uh, we're going to get involved in just more stuff. Okay, it's really going to take a toll on the American people and our economy. Now, I, I want to backtrack for a second because I know people are going to ask, well, how could Bank of America fail? And, and I don't think they will. How could uh, you know Chase fail or J.P. Morgan fail? Again, I don't think they will. But you don't want to be on the wrong side of that. So what happens? Well, what happens is, and what's happening right now, our bond yields are actually going up. Okay, they're they're increasing, they're surging. Well, as bonds go up. Large institutions are going to start to pull their money out of the banks and put it into these money market accounts. That's going to trigger banks to sell their bonds on a loss. And again, this is why we're seeing this. Where Bank of America unrealized losses on securities rose to $131.6 billion. Now, these are unrealized losses because they do not have to sell them. They can hold them to maturity. But if they decide to sell them because they need the money, because... Uh, large investors um, or you know uh, consumers were pulling their money out of their their banks. Well, it creates a problem, creates a bank run. But here's the big warning. Here's where things get crazy. Experts warn that if banks begin to fail and the United States is in the midst of a war, then we will not have the ability to bail out the banks or insure all deposits. Again. Less than 1% of our total deposits are insured. Okay, less than 1%. The, the reason why we are potentially not safe here is because if we think that in the next, let's say, month or two, that, okay, banks are starting to fail, we need to you know, bail out these banks, guess what? We can't do that. We can't do that if we're in the midst of a war. The money is going to be used for the war, to fund the war. Fund military equipment, personnel, right? Munitions. That's what's going to be funded for. It's not going to be funding for the banks. That's why some are saying the banks are not safe. You need to get your money out before this emergency happens. Okay? And the other thing, just want to throw this out there because it is still an issue. In order for Congress to approve additional funding, for either a war or for a bank, guess what they have to do? They have to vote. They have to pass a bill. And Congress can't pass a bill when there is still no Speaker of the House. That's the other problem. And I know I bring this up quite a bit, that what is going on with the Speakership vote, and some people you know, uh, comment and say that nobody cares, it's not that important, no big deal, they'll get it when they get it. No, it is a big deal. Not having a speaker means you cannot vote on a bill. You cannot pass legislation. If you cannot do that, and we need the money to keep banks open or for our efforts in a war, guess what? We're kind of out of luck. Because until the, the Republicans and Democrats jump on board and get you know, something done in the House of Representatives, well, I'm kind of stuck. So... Just wanted to fill you in on what's going on this time. Again, banks are not the safest place to keep your money, especially if it's 100% of your money. Make sure you diversify, spread it around. This is exactly what financial experts are telling us at this time. So make sure you do that. Protect yourself, protect your money, and protect your future. So that is what we know at this time. As always, as we know more, I promise I'll come back on. I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.